right. Okay, today, guys, I just want to share this with you because recently, you remember it in a previous video where I spoke about the sockets and switches and how you know we wanted to get a certain quality of them and so we, we didn't want to we didn't know where to exactly go to get what we wanted here so we decided to ship from abroad now the, for those of you that saw the video you'll see that i went on to the b and q website and i looked for black sockets and switches which is what we wanted so i looked at those found the perfect ones and everything very very happy with what we had picked the stuff has just arrived a moment of silence please what we received does not look 100% like what was on the website. Now let me just say this before I show it to you. I just want to say that the sockets that we received, even though they're not exactly what we wanted, they're still workable, so it's not all lost. But honestly, my experience of shipping the stuff abroad was not the easiest. I think that when you are there, the place where you're shipping from is easier, but if you are shipping something from abroad where you're not there yourself to see the items and make sure the items are correct and you're relying on someone else, it can be, get a bit tricky. So basically, what we did was we, um, I purchased them from here online and then I had them shipped to somebody and then the person just basically boxed it. But my experience, to be honest with you, my experience with B&Q was not the best. When the items arrived, you'd think that they would come in a box. They were left loosely, individually, can you imagine, loosely on the doorstep. And it was just left like that on the doorstep until the person got home from work. So first of all, the things weren't boxed properly. Anything could have happened. And it was very hard for me to, and, and the packages came as two. So one set came and then the other set was supposed to come afterwards, but there were some problems. So the first set came, as I said, they were left on the doorstep, just individually, just scattered like that. So for me, it was very difficult to kind of check off, okay, this one has come, this one has come, if anything was missing. And the second half of the order that came, we kept getting notes through the door saying, oh, your stuff has arrived or your stuff you know we tried to deliver but no one was there so the person took time off work to try and receive the stuff and the, the, that day the person took time off work nobody came and so like I was trying to have to I was having to do back and forth from Ghana trying to explain to them that um, you know we're expecting a delivery you keep saying you're not delivering but no one has actually come but you were just putting a card through the door in the end it we found out that actually what had happened was the stuff had been lost in the warehouse and they needed to issue me a refund and it was just without me going into all of it. It was a whole palaver trying to work it out. I got a refund from them and so I thought, okay, fine, okay, at least that's done now. Let's just wait for the stuff to arrive. Now, when the switches came, they were not what we wanted because we wanted the black, the black. The website says black. The packaging says black. But guys, I'm gonna show you this and you guys can tell me if you think that this looks like black. It may be a bit hard for you to see on camera. Okay, so excuse the fingerprints this it almost looks like mirror a mirror it's got like a mirror effect on it but not only that it's more brownish it actually has like a brown look about it and i'll show you something this is the box this is the box the box is actually brown and that's the same color the switches and on the box yeah it actually does say color it says black nickel i got my nails done so i'm showing off do you see that just in case you guys missed it. <laughs> yeah, so it actually says black nickel, but honestly, the website looked nothing like that. I'm actually gonna insert a video, um, like a screenshot of what it looked like on the website. This was not it. So what the lesson is for today is that if you are buying something from abroad, you better know straight up that what you're ordering is exactly what you want. Because right now, although we, we have decided that okay yeah we're just we're just going to work with what we have and we're going to keep it it's not a lost cause but can you imagine if this situation was much worse what am i going to do am i going to return these sockets and switches all the way back to the uk like how am i going to how would i logistically do that you know and that goes the same thing for like electronics or any any absolutely anything so you see the, the switches came as well it's exactly the same thing it's got that same mirrored effect this does not look like black to me this is not black in fact i'm actually going to write them a letter of complaint because i'm so annoyed that if they had said or put a better like a video or something on their website to show exactly what this this would save a, a whole lot because honestly if i had received this in the uk i would have returned it straight away because this is not what i asked for and this is not what it looks like on the website but as i'm in ghana pretty much stuck with it 
But as I said, again, it's not a lost cause. We will work with that. But it's just kind of frustrating. So these are the t these is, this is some of the reasons why I don't like to get stuff from abroad and have it shipped here unless I'm there and I can see and say, okay, yep, this works for me, this works for me, this works for me. Because although you can rely on someone else to say, oh, this is the thing, sometimes their taste is different from your taste. You know, so the person that got these for me thought that these were really nice. But for me, because I have the vision of what I want here, that I would not have chosen this. If I had a choice, I would not have picked that exact thing. But anyway, I'm not going to bang on about it. We have what we have, so we move. Um, yeah, so the only thing that I have to do now... The good thing about it is it, it does remove, innit? Yes, yes. And I didn't say, thank you, Kwame, for reminding me. No problem. <laughs> the good thing about this is the, these are um, the ones where the faces can be removed. So later on... Hey, Kwame, I don't want to spoil my nails all. Oh, there's a clip here. Oh. There's a clip, right? No, I didn't turn it this way. I'm gonna spoil my nails. They just sit in that shop for so many hours. <laughs> Man, I'm not risking it all. It's acrylic. Look, 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 it's starting to pop. No, it's not acrylic, it's just gel polish. Look, my nails starting to pop. <sighs> yeah, that's what you should have done further. So let me hold this. I'll hold the camera while Kwame tries to take the face off so you guys can see. See, it's not as easy, is it? It's easy. It's not easy. He was struggling. Okay, I was struggling She's sitting behind right. the camera. Mm, sweaty. Trying to do it, yeah. <laughs> so basically, these have a face off. So this is it. The and then off. it has this face that you can actually take off. So perhaps at a later date, when things are a little bit more settled, we may just change the plate, the front plate, which is a good thing about this. So that kind of made me happy as well. So it's nice, a very metallic metal. It's very durable. So like basically, if um, my mirror, I don't know, I break my mirror or my mirror is not clean or something like that, I can actually use the sockets to kind of like look in the mirror because I actually can see myself inside here. So I can actually use these as a socket. So they're actually dual purpose. So they serve as sockets and switches, but they also serve as a mirror just in case you need a mirror. Wow. So that's what they're doing. Do you see that? Yeah, Multifunctional. They didn't write that on their website, did they? Multifunctional. Definitely right. Yeah. But anyway, so that's our um, socket switch nightmare. But if you guys know a place where I can get some nice black sockets, I think we still need a couple more, don't we? In fact, I know, I need to count. I need to count. I haven't done the count. I have them all downstairs, but I haven't done the count. So I need to do the count before I say that. Yeah, so these actually leave your fingerprint. So, and I don't want that. So basically, the minute you touch it a little bit, it leaves your fingerprint. So you can kind of see, I think you can see on there that it basically, has fingerprints all over it, and that will do my nut, seriously. Yeah. So I'll have to be getting a cloth all the time, every day, and be wiping these down, so I'm just giving myself extra work with these. Okay, guys, now today, I'm also gonna talk about skirting. Yes, we're talking about skirting because you guys know, if you have been following me closely, that skirting has been a mad hunt. It really has been. So we've had so many different options come to us. I mean, we've had, we've had we started off with this, which was Kwame didn't agree with, but I thought that this perhaps could be used for skirting, but I later on found out this is not good for indoors. This is only good for outdoors. This is not wood. This is composite, so it's a mixture of plastics and recyclable stuff, basically. Not a good option for skirting. And then we, came, we had these samples right here. These are, this is not the actual wood. This is not the actual wood that we're going to use. This is basically just so that we can see the design and what it would be. Um, but the quote that I initially had for this was quite high. Um, so that kind of put me off a little bit. Although um, the company that showed me these was willing to negotiate with me a bit. I just wasn't sure. I was just really worried about, you know, insects and that kind of thing. I know some of you have told me that there wouldn't be a problem, but this is one of the options. But in the back of my mind, it was always there like, what if we do that and then we do get a problem, what then? So I like to always think of what if. And then we also had these, what are these called again? I know these are plastic, what is it? Oh, paper. Paper. <laughs> this, this, bend this, I can't remember. Oh, cardboard. It's, ah! <laughs> what is it? It's not vinyl. What is it called? What's it called again? Yeah. Come, you're not, you're not even trying to help me. I mean, I don't know this one, so it, it, it was it, called something. Oh my gosh, the name is, it's not vinyl. Cardboard skirts in the world. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know what they're like. Oh my days. 
I'll, I'll, I'll write it on the screen when I remember what it's called. But yeah, this stuff, which was just basically plastic, which it did it, it just for me, even though it can be painted, it comes like this, and you paint it and it can look like skirting. For me, it just seemed like it was kind of like a lower quality and I felt like it would take away from the house rather than adding skirting in order to enhance the house, the vision of the house. And then we had, we looked into PO, POP, which remember I showed you this guys and I said that this just was like about 10 different designs on one piece of skirting and it was just too much. So basically this wasn't, this was not gonna work for me. But I did say that the guy was actually looking, the person that did this, in fact it was Alex, our POP guy, um, you remember him from our videos. When um, we asked Alex to go back and make some changes for us and he came out with this. This, my friends, is so, 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 so much better. This is a nice, really nice, simple design. And um, the only thing I would like is if this was a bit thicker, but Alex says that if we make this any thicker, there's a possibility that it could break, and we obviously don't want that, huh? <laughs> Do you know well, what you said? You yeah. wish that it was a bit thicker. You mean thinner? Oh. <laughs> don't worry about it. Yes. Hey, Kwame, you're really pointing it out. Oh, no, no, it's fine. It's small, small. Small, small. Yeah, you're teaching me well. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. I'll have to unteach you. Yes. So I wish that this could be a little bit thinner because I think this is a little bit thick. But Alex says that if we make this much thinner, there's a possibility that it could snap. And obviously, we don't want that to happen. We don't want it to break because I have to fasten this to the wall. So it has to be like this, which is fine. Um, so, guys, hold on. Cue intense music. Which one do you think it is going to be? Are we going to go for composite? Wood? Plastic thing, which I cannot remember the name of. Cardboard. <laughs> or the POP? Drop your answers below. Okay. We are obviously going for POP. We have a winner. We are very, very happy with this. This, I think, is going to be durable. No termites can eat it. So I just feel like my mind is completely clear. Like, I'm happy with this. This works for us. We're going to go with this. So right now, all we're going to wait for is for the architrave to be done. And then once the architrave is done, then we can start on the skirting. So that is a step in the right direction. So I'm really, 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 really pleased with that. So, yeah, I'm just really, really pleased. So that's what we're going for. That's what we'll go for. So the next time you hear me talking about skirting, guys, it'll be when it's being done. Let me know what you guys think in the, in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think we've made the right decision? Do you think we're making the right decision? Do you like the look of this? What do you think? Obviously, this is going to be painted. It's not going to look like this because it is a little bit of a funny colour, but it's going to be painted white. Yeah, it's it's not funny colour. That's cementing. Yeah, it's the cement in it that's giving it some yeah. bakey tone to it or something like that. But it'll be painted, Hats. yeah. Mm. It'll be painted white. So let me know what you guys think. But anyway, guys, I think that is the end of today's video. I think I've spoken quite enough. I think my mouth is even getting a bit dry because I've been talking so much. But yeah, that is the end of today's video, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, you know what to do. Come tell me that my hands are dirty. Yes. Yes. We'll talk about the um, kitchen work top very soon. That video is coming. Right, so yes. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button for me, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to also do me a favour and like, comment and share this video for me. I would really appreciate it. Until next time guys, I am out as usual. Nooty bye.